Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about um, Chacanob National Park in Cozumel, Mexico. And when I was there, I did the Dolphin Royal Swim, which, um, so basically after we got off of the ship, we met, we met up with everybody who was going to Chacanob, and, um, there was the lady who was in charge of everybody, and she gave us two bracelets. Um, one bracelet was for admission into the park itself, and then the second was admission for the actual, like, saying what excursion we were doing. And I don't have the just like admission bracelet, but I do have the one that we did for the dolphin one. Because the admission bracelet was just a simple, like, it's just one of the normal little bracelets that they use. But this was the dolphin royal uh, bracelet, and it says royal dolphin swim. And they wrote down, like, our picture, um, like, what we did for pictures, what we ordered. You can, they take pictures there, and you can order the pictures. But, yeah, they just put this bracelet on your wrist. And yeah, um, and after they gave us the bracelets, we get onto some vans and take about a 10 minute, I'd say 10 minutes, um, a 10 minute ride to the park. And after we get to the park, we would, every, after everybody would get to the park, the tour guide lady, we had a lady, it could be a guy, I have no idea. Anyway, the tour guide person will take you to the locker room slash shower area and that is where you'll put like you'll take off all your normal like outerwear clothing and um your personal belongings and you'll put those into lockers and then so you'll just be left in your swimsuit and then you come back out they'll put a life vest on you and then you go out onto the dock and um they won't like I don't remember if they let you wear water shoes or not I think they won't but I'm not really I don't remember I think yeah I don't think they will so they make you put your sandals or footwear that you were walking on the dock with into the little like net basket thing like right next to the staircase for going down into the water and so you put your flip-flops or sandals or shoes whatever in there and then you go down the steps into the water. And first of all, the water isn't really that cold. But it's a little bit cold because, I mean, it's dolphin temperature water. Which doesn't make sense, but whatever. It's And um, at Chalkanob, they actually don't have, like, a pool or anything. It's literally just, like, a chain link fence that's around a piece of ocean that's connected to, like, the beach. And they build a dock around it. And that's it. You have a chain link fence around you. So... Yeah, and then so you walk onto this little platform that's also, I think, chain link fence? I don't remember. I think it was chain link fence. I think some of it was chain link fence, and then some of it was, like, normal platform kind of stuff. But either way, like, there was stuff growing on it, because, like, whatever's in the ocean, there's going to be weird stuff growing on it, like seagrass, or not seagrass, like, weird, okay, just weird plants. Anyway, so there was weird plants and stuff growing all over. So after you get into the water, they will start being informative, they'll talk to you about um, like just dolphin stuff in general, and then they will start like interacting with the dolphins, so we'll help the dolphins swim around, we all get to pet them, and like play with them, like if we do like some weird hand motion, they'll like flap their flippers at you, and then they start having like two t people by twos swim out and the dolphins in the royal dolphin swim we got to get pulled by two of them so we lay out in the water with our arms like spread and our bellies like um i think we were like bobbing up and down and our arms are like this and you even though you even though you can't see me um we grab our we have our arms out and then the dolphins will swim up next to you and you have to grab onto their dorsal fins and they'll swim you back into the pl or to the platform area and then after that, um, they'll like bring dolphins around for everybody to pet because it's a, it's not a big group. It's a group about, of about 10, it's either 8 to 12 people, but it's a, I think our group was about 10. And after that, they'll start doing more entertaining stuff where you'll get to like, you, you swim out a little bit and then you have your arms out and the dolphin will swim up into your arms and you'll get to like hold the dolphin. 
and that's pretty cool because it, it's just picture moments because they take pictures there and my dad did pay to come into the park to because he didn't do it but he took pictures the problem is the way the platform is set up we were facing the ocean when we were doing everything because that's where the platform was and the way the dock is he was um, he wasn't allowed to get onto the dock so he was all the way back at the beach so he had to like zoom in and stuff and so the pictures that he took weren't really good because they were all from the back but the pictures that we ended up buying were really good but you get to hold the dolphin and then um standing on the platform the dolphin will swim up and um you grab its little or you don't really grab it you like gently place your fingers on the dolphin's flippers and the dolphin's like swimming in place and then you get to like dance with the dolphin and then they do another one where you have your hands like this and you put your hand just above the water like this and the dolphin will come swim up and put its nose in your hands and you get to kiss the dolphin that's also that's a really fun picture and um the last one or the last like thing you get to do with the dolphin is you swim all the way out and you lay completely flat on top of the water with your feet like out, not out of the water but like bobbing in the water and then your arms um i think we're in front of you actually um and the dolphins will come up behind you and they'll get on your feet they won't like they'll push you by your feet to help like push you out of the water and that's really cool i've done it before um i did the dolphin swim in puerto vallarta before but this is my first time in cause in um like the other side of mexico and it was fun like i liked it and then so after that you all get out of that tank because it's a really huge and like it's not really i guess it's a tank um you get out of that area and then you come walk around to the other side of the dock and then you get into another little like it's it's a lot smaller um little enclosure and they're all enclosed by like chain link fence and we get we got into that and then there was three trainers i think with us and they were they had like heads of what's it called romaine lettuce and these like really fat little things came out of the water and apparently um it was really cool they were manatees and they are kind of creepy and they gave us some information stuff about them and they said one of the things that was i really liked hearing about was that they're so slow in the water like they move so slowly that barnacles and stuff will actually attach to their skin and so we actually got to pet the manatee and then some of us got to feed the manatee and it was really scary for me because that was one of the first ones in the water with the manatees because we were still all on a platform but since i was the first one on i would be the first one out so most of the group was already out of the water when um it was my turn to like feed the manatee so i gave them a little piece of lettuce and they only had one like half of a leaf left for me to feed the manatee with because everybody else fed on like two leaves and so they had run out so i had just given them like one little half of a piece and so he, and they're so cute by the way they have like the whiskers and okay so i fed him and he like he was like wanting more because he's gotten two pieces from everybody else but i didn't have any more pieces and it was kind of scary because um when he moved like he tried like he was looking for more food so he like took his like gigantic flipper which is like the size of half of me and he like kind of like nudged me on my hip and was like hey give me more food and I was like, I'm sorry, I don't have any more food. And so I like gave him a pat and I went out of the water. But yeah, they had two or even three manatees, I think, in that little enclosure. But we weren't allowed to take pictures with the manatees. I'm not really sure why, but they just had no pictures allowed with the manatees. And then, so the tickets, the Royal Dolphin Swim ticket that we bought buys us admission into the park and the Royal Dolphin Swim, obviously. And so after we did this dolphin swim, we went, um, like, showered off really quickly, put our clothes back on, and then it's uh, lunch included. And it's not, like, it's not fancy lunch or anything. It's, like, buffet-style Mexican food. So they had, like, this, they had bread, and they had rice, and they had beans, and, like, burritos, and quesadillas and stuff. And after we had lunch, um, we were able, we had free entry in the park to do whatever we wanted the whole rest of the time that we were there because the last van that took us back to the ship before the ship left i think was at three and we had our dolphin swim at i think 11 or or i think it was 10 actually and so we had pretty much 
most of the day. We had a good four hours at the park just to do whatever that we wanted. And I loved the park. It was so much fun because they had an, they had another little beach where you could like rent snorkeling equipment, the little like sea scooter thing equipment, sea trekking equipment. And they had um, uh, two enclosures with crocodiles, which is really cool. Um, and this is all like all the footage that I took is in the video that I'll link down below, just the footage. But um, they have crocodiles. They had a tequila tasting place where like they'll. Um, you get to taste a whole bunch of tequila. I didn't because I'm not old enough. Or I might be old enough in Mexico. I don't remember. But I didn't try any. But um, apparently it's really strong. And then they had some of... They had... Um, what's it called? They had fake Mayan ruins there. Like, So it wasn't like the real Mayan ruins. But it was just like fake version of them. Anyway, you could take pictures with that, and then if you walked through that, it was like a little like pathway foresty garden type thing. And then when you got to the end, um, there was like a couple little huts, and it was like how the villagers lived, like back in the Mayan ruin time, I think. And there was a lady who made um, homemade tortillas, but they were out because by the time we got there, it was already like 2.30. And so she was out, but there was like a turkey there, and the turkey was pretty scary because he chased people around because... Apparently people would feed him the tortilla and he wants tortilla even though there isn't any tortilla. But yeah, so he chased a couple people around. It was kind of funny. But we after we walked through that, um, we walked through that at the end. But before that, they also have a sea lion show and um, like a private pool. We didn't go to that though because we just went to the beach after. And so after um, we did our dolphin swim, we went straight to the crocodiles because we really wanted to see that. And the crocodiles were actually pretty cool, and on the crocodile path, there was this huge iguana, and it was really scary. <laughs> I'm terrified of reptiles. And so, yeah, there was a really large iguana, and it was just like, because they have a whole bunch of wild iguanas all over the place. The whole time we were there, I probably saw like eight iguanas. And, ugh. They also have um, a special, like, national park lagoon, and no one's allowed to, like, go in there because it's protected but it was really really gorgeous and that's where we saw a clownfish or not a clownfish um an angelfish i think it's called i don't remember it was blue but um after that we just went to the beach my parents snorkeled um i sat on the beach and just like played in the sand but um apparently they had really good snorkeling um like attractions there like because they had a couple, like, fake Mayan ruins stuff under the water just for, like, sightseeing, like, oh, let's go snorkel down there kind of stuff. So I thought that was cool. But, um, one problem is, or not problem, but one thing is that you had to rent the snorkel equipment, which it wasn't that expensive. I think it was, like, $10 a person for the snorkel equipment. But there was just, like, the extra little stuff. So, like, if you wanted to do other stuff other than your dolphin swim, it would cost money. And then, obviously, souvenirs and stuff. But the lunch was included. And... Overall, I had a really good time. Um, I liked it. I thought it was pretty much, I thought it was worth the money because afterwards we got to play at the um, Chalkinaut Park the whole rest of the time. But yeah, um, I would definitely recommend this place to other people. The on one of the only issues that I had with the place itself was that in the dolphin swim, there wasn't really a lot of room for the dolphins to push you. Like when I did this in um, Puerto Vallarta, uh, the pool, like, even though the enclosure in Chalkanob was a lot bigger, um, we were put, we felt like we were pushed further in the Puerto Vallarta place, but, um, uh, other than that, I really have no complaints. I liked it. It was a really good experience, and, yeah, I recommend this place.